Hello friends through this video we will learn about Imperat Hunt terms used in building drawing. Methods of making line and detailed drawing. Consider a small building having one room, it is cut vertically by a sectional plane and then front portion is removed. The various components of the building observed and their location are as shown below. Consider a small building having one room, it is cut vertically by a sectional plane and then front portion is removed. The various components of the building observed and their location are as shown below. Black Diamond Foundation, substructure the portion of the building below the ground level which is in direct contact with the ground and used to transmit the loads of the building to the ground. Black Diamond Superstructure, the portion of the building above the ground level or substructure. Black Diamond Basement, it is the lower story of a building which is partly below the ground level. Black Diamond Plinth and Plinth Level, the portion of the building between the ground and floor level in the superstructure is called plinth. Its height above the ground level is known as plinth level or plinth height. Its height is usually 450 mm, 600 to 750 mm from ground level. Wall, the thickness of the superstructure which carries the load of the roof, usually 200 mm thickness. Black Diamond Parapet, the wall built above the flat roof, which provides safety to the people, while they are on the top of the roof in a building and it adds good appearance to a building. It is usually with 100 or 200 mm in thickness and height of 600 mm. Black Diamond Flooring, the horizontal surface at the plinth level in a building. It is usually prepared in two layers i.e. R.C.C and floor finishes. Black diamond sill level, the horizontal bottom level of a window. Methods of making line and detailed drawing. The placing of different rooms including their sizes etc. is grouped together by drawing a single line plan. North line is drawn and keeping in view the basic principles, plan is drawn. It may be drawn on graph paper, tracing paper, or drawing paper. Single line plan is proportionally drawn on one, 100 scale. Draw the north line, and place the kitchen on the east, northeast or southeast aspect. Then place bedrooms on northwest or southwest direction. Similarly place other rooms and select the best combination after preparing two or three combinations. After selecting the line plan with the best combination, a detailed drawing of a building consisting the following views are prepared. The major views in detailed drawings are I plan, scale 150 2 elevation scale 150 3 section, scale 150 4 detail, scale 120 or 110 V site plan scale 1 colon 200 or 1 colon 500. 6 enlarged views of important details. 7 reference tables, legends showing area covered. Sizes of doors and windows etc. I plan, the single line plan is developed into a double line or solid plan. Length and width of rooms are shown in the plan. Plan is drawn by assuming the structure to be cut at a height of 1.5 m from the ground level. Thickness of walls, width of doors, windows, sunshades, steps etc. are shown in the plan. The parts of the structure above the cutting plane are shown by dotted lines. Plinth projection is also shown in the plan. To elevation, it shows the width and height of a structure. Front and side views are drawn to give frontal and side look of the structures. The shapes of windows, doors, veranda openings, sunshades, and parapets are shown in true look. 3 section, the structure is supposed so be cut by a vertical plane, and the view of the cut section is drawn, which is termed as a section. It shows height of rooms and depth of foundations, type of roofs, floors, thickness of walls and plinth height etc. Section also shows type of materials used for construction. The following tables show the conventional symbols used for different types of building materials. 
symbolic representation of some civil engineering materials. Tips to draw building drawing. Black Diamond Imagine and understand the building through the line sketch. Black Diamond Imagine the horizontal cutting plane to remove the portion of the building above the sill level to draw the top view. Show the openings for the doors and windows by referring the line plan or line sketch. Black Diamond The steps in top view are drawn as rectangles in front of the main door. Number of steps is depending on the height of the plinth or flooring. Black Diamond The sunshades are removed as a result of cutting, they are also marked in top view using dashed lines. Black Diamond The ground line is drawn above the top view, the left and right extreme walls are projected to the front view for the height of the plinth and the height of the building is drawn and the rectangle showing the front view is completed. The doors, windows and steps are projected from top view and drawn in front view with appropriate dimensions. Black Diamond To draw the sectional view, identify the walls which are cut by cutting plane. Draw one of the walls starting from foundation to parapet with correct height for foundation footings, plinth, lintel, roof slab, and parapet. Black Diamond Make the position of the next wall using the inner room dimension and draw downwards the lintel, plinth, and foundation footings. Black Diamond Parapet walls are drawn only on outside walls. Black Diamond If windows, doors etc. are observed in section view, they must be drawn. Thank you for watching the video, if you like it please do share it and subscribe the channel. Lot many things to coming soon. Have a nice and good life to you all.